So I was definitely addicted to sugar. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I've lost over 100 pounds. I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. And today I wanted to talk to you about sugar addiction. Sugar is in everything. Like literally everything that we eat, unless it's like meat, butter, oil, like most everything has sugar. The truth is that in general, if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to live a healthier lifestyle, if you are trying to live a low carb lifestyle, sugar is just something that you're gonna wanna try to cut way back on. Now, I kinda wanna give you a background in terms of like my sugar addiction. I always mention that I've lost over 100 pounds, but the truth is that I've lost 135 pounds. So I weighed a, a, about 315 pounds when I was about 17 years old. So a lot of it came from childhood, right? And I was never actually diagnosed with like a thyroid issue or um, any type of issue when I was a kid, but I definitely did get all the way up to 315 pounds and it definitely had to do with a combination, I would say, of sugar addiction with food addiction. So growing up, I had all the junk, okay? I had, all the processed foods. I had pizza pockets. I had, you know, the breakfast pizza pocket, lean cuisine. And I don't know if they've made them any better now, to be honest, I don't eat any of that stuff, but I used to have Doritos and chips and soda. Anyway, point is that I just liked all the bad stuff. You know, in my household, no one was overweight. I just so happened to be the first person to start gaining weight and then get to the point where I was, which, you know, was just obese. So kind of a rundown on my diet and let me know if your diet was similar to mine or maybe still is now but i remember growing up eating cereal for breakfast so i had a sugary cereal my favorite back in the day was apple jacks you know snacks would be pop tarts they would be pizza pockets they would be burritos like frozen burritos and um, this is all stuff that my sister would buy. My sister was kind of more of like the junk foodie versus my mom. My mom always, you know, she made her rice, beans, meats, tortillas. That's kind of was like the staple. And to be honest, I don't think that was the big problem. I think it was more all the processed junk that was being introduced into my diet in conjunction with everything else. So it's kind of like almost like a perfect storm at that time. And I probably you know some somewhere along the lines just really messed up my metabolism um, i could have very well had a thyroid issue i don't know point is i got up to 315 pounds by the time i hit 17 years old so still at 16 i was you know i was on really really climbing at 15 16 and then i peaked at 17. but yeah that's pretty much what my diet consisted of just a bunch of junk food a lot of sugar a lot of ice cream a lot of cookies I love candy, Snickers was my favorite bar, and um, it really just wrecked havoc on my, on my gut. And I tell you this all the time, 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. Now I take my probiotic and prebiotic. I take the one from Seed, it's the DS1 Symbiotic. I've been taking it for over three years now. Absolutely love it. It's made a world of a difference for me. So I had like a lot of stomach discomfort. I was getting like really bloated and inflamed. My hair started falling out. Like my, my gut was just completely out of whack. And so yes, I made changes, eliminated seed oils. I started eliminating processed junk. I stopped the sugar. I switched over to a sweetener, incorporated a high quality probiotic and prebiotic. I'll leave the one that I use linked in the description below. You can use my discount code. It, it'll get you 25% off. And I'll leave the, the discount code here on the screen. It's LC25. But a high quality probiotic and prebiotic can make a world of a difference for you. So if you are having issues with your gut, I'm telling you, you have to start making some changes. And again, I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not a, a nutritionist. Um, this is just from personal experience. And again, I've I lost my weight well over 15 years ago and 
I've maintained it all this time. I just got my, my uh, blood work done. I did a full blown panel because I really wanted a deep dive. I was really, really, really happy about that. Um, I'm, I'd be happy to share that with you. If you guys actually want to see it, um, comment down below. Let me know. I'll do a whole video on my blood work just to kind of go into detail about what you want to look out for. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about how I realized that I had this issue and then um, what I did to, to change it all around. But um, I'll be completely honest. I never realized that I had an issue. I know it's crazy, right? Cause you think, uh, how do you not look at yourself in the mirror and think like, I don't have an issue. Well, I was a super happy kid to very, very loving parents that have always showered me with love. I had a really good upbringing. I didn't, I wasn't bullied. So I kind of, I feel like I just lived in like my own world. You know what I mean? I was like, food made me happy. I love food. I'm a huge foodie. It's the truth. It's just the truth. Um, I was just eating the wrong foods. That's all. And then I'll, I'll admit, like I wasn't really active. I was always a big kid. So I was never involved in sports. So fast forward 16th or 17th. I think I'm celebrating my 17th birthday. And uh, my girlfriends and I were all together taking photos. Back in the day, it was all about the disposables. And we took so many photos. I was so excited. Go develop the, the film. And I was in shock because the person I saw on the photo, it's not who I felt like. It's not what I, who I thought I was. And it was very, very upsetting to me. And I remember going home and I was just like, uh-uh, like I need to do something about this. This is completely out of hand. Those photos are what turned it all around for me. And sometimes you need that. You kind of need that whack in the face and be like, hey, like get it together. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? And I knew that I needed to lose some weight. I just didn't know that I needed to lose that much weight. Like that photo just really, it was like super eye-opening. And sometimes it's a conversation. Sometimes it's a photo. Sometimes it's a video. Sometimes it's looking in the mirror one day and being like, uh-oh, like I better do something about this or I'm gonna have some serious issues in a few years. You know what I mean? I've had already been like trying to lose weight, like talking to my mom, like mom, like buy me this little gadget and this machine and that and the faja, you know, where you like the, the little girdle thing. I was, she was like, yes, mija, yes, yes. And buying me all this because she wanted to help. But the thing is that I wasn't mentally prepared for it until that day. That day I was like, not tomorrow, not on Monday, not it is gonna be right now, right this minute. And I did, I made that change in my head. I, I just, I didn't even know how I was gonna do it. I just knew I was gonna do it, right? Cause back then we didn't have Instagram. We didn't have trainers online. You didn't have people like me online sharing their stories, sharing what worked for them. It was a very, very different time back then. Everything was like low fat this, calories in, calories out. The lower the calories, the more you, the less you eat, the more you move. I just knew, I was gonna do it, but I didn't have a plan. And so I remember coming home and telling my mom, like, mom, like I need, I, I, I need to go get a gym membership. And she was like, Mija, like, cause she thought it was gonna be a waste of money. And I was like, no, like, I'm telling you, like, I'm gonna do this. Long story short, started going to the gym. I remember I went to the grocery store that day, threw out every junk, like every bit of junk that I had, like, you, I don't know if you have this, but you have like a little, like, corner, your corner, like with all your snacks, emptied it out. So I remember going to the grocery store and I picked up a ton of tuna. Okay. I remember thinking spinach. So I grabbed a bunch of spinach, a bunch of tuna. So imagine what my diet was like. I grabbed a bunch of lemons. So not to go too much into everything that I did, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that even though I didn't have a plan, I knew I had to completely switch everything around. And that's what I did. I stopped eating all the processed food. I stopped eating pizza pockets, burritos, all the processed junk. And I completely switched over to eating tuna, to eating spinach, to eating salads. I just knew I needed to change everything that I was doing to make a long story short. And I did. So first of all, I was so young. I had no responsibilities besides going to school and I did have a little job. I just focused completely on my weight loss journey. 
And little by little, I went from literally being addicted to sugar to all of a sudden eating no sugar. Like I did not consume anything that was remotely unhealthy that had that was like considered a dessert a snack anything like that because in my head i just thought to myself like i want to get there the as soon as possible and what happens is when you stop eating the sugar and you start replacing it with healthier whole foods you stop craving that stuff and that's what happened even as a kid being that i had I was addicted to junk food. I was addicted to sugar. I was addicted to sweets and making those changes. It completely changed it all around for me. It really, really did. I started losing weight like this. I started seeing the results. It got me more motivated. Little by little, I just felt stronger. And I will say, and I have a note on here because I wanted to make sure that I, yeah. So I wanted to talk about triggers really quickly because I feel like it's a big deal. So growing up when I would have cereal, I would eat, I would just keep eating cereal because I just really liked it. And I mean, like I would probably eat like half of a box. So I had like no control over that. That to me, even, even now is a trigger food. Like I know that if I start to eat like a sugary processed cereal from the store, like I'm just going to want to keep going. So of course now I have my swaps and I have my, my cereal that I eat that's low carb, high protein, everything. But one thing that's really important is you need to identify what your triggers are. And so like, whether it's ice cream, whether it's chips like Doritos or, or Snickers or whatever, like a trigger food is something that you eat and then all of a sudden it just makes you lose your, like you are just like, you know what? Screw it, like I'm gonna go for it. And then you just send it and go like, all right, I have the Snickers, so now I'm gonna go get pizza and then I'm gonna go do this and I'm gonna do, like it literally just kind of takes you over the edge. You want to identify that because you want to stay away from them. And I know, I'm not saying forever, I'm just saying like you wanna stay away from them, especially when you are actively in a place where you are trying to lose the weight, where you're really trying to make a difference in your health, in your weight, in your body, like these triggers can send you down like tumbling. They hatch. I, it's happened to me so many times. I know what it's like to just be addicted to junk food. I mean, you don't get to weigh 315 pounds eating spinach and broccoli, you know what I mean? So um, I feel like I have so much to share, like in terms of how I did so many things. So if there's, you know, just questions that you have that you just feel like I'm just so stuck, like, I wish I knew this, or I wish I could get help with this, whether it's like binge eating, whether it's like triggers, whether it's like eating disorders, like there's just so many different things that I've been through that I haven't shared. And I will, I will. I just, you know, I've just kind of been waiting for the right time. I feel like little by little, I first wanted to really just talk about all the basics because I want you to know there's so much that goes around weight loss that like nobody really talks about. People just talk about like, oh, change this, do that, exercise, and then you're gonna be good. But there's like so much that goes into it like mentally. And like, if you don't know that, it's always gonna be a yo-yo. It's always gonna be like, a, it will. It's gonna, like a roller coaster where you lose some, up oh, there you gain some, you lose some, then you gain some. So anyway, I wanna hear, I wanna hear your story. Like if you've lost weight, if you've been actively losing weight and um, you've been successful, share your story. I'd love to hear it. Comment down below. I love reading through your messages. I love, you know, just going and seeing your success stories or even if you're struggling, sometimes I can go in there and just, you know, help you out with a little tip or something. But um, I hope this was helpful. I love sharing a lot of what's worked for me. I hope some of these tips work for you. If you have family members, whether they're diabetic or just trying to lose some weight or trying to make healthier choices, or maybe they're just trying to get started and absolutely don't know where to start, send them some of my videos. They might be really, really helpful to them. But overall, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.